I'm going to Coachella. Yeah, boy. Look how excited I am. Nah, I'm actually really excited, but I'm stressed the fuck out because it's currently 8 o'clock. My flight leaves at 1 and I haven't packed anything, haven't done anything. My flight's a mess and it's going to be stressful. Also, for some reason, my lips are really red, like proper. Ugh. I'm kind of dreading the 15 hours, 17 hours journey to Palm Springs. But fuck it, dude. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. I went to uh, Coachella last weekend, aka the Influencer Olympics. And yes, I stole that caption. I stole that phrase from Twitter. Predictable, mate. But before we get into this video, I do wanna say that we are releasing Bloom the 28th of April, Sunday, 8 p.m. GMT at running.co.uk. Now, I'm gonna go into more detail of this later on in this video. However, without further ado, let's get into the Coachella outfits. No. No. No, 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 mate. Day one. Good morning, sisters. Ooh, Coachella, ooh. After spending 24 hours, shit. After spending 24 hours of travel, I finally got to my hotel, my motel yesterday. Apart from that, my Coachella, alone. Sick, sick. I'm not like scared, but I've got no friends. I've got no one to hang out with, but it should be fun anyways. In this video, it's gonna be like Coachella vlog, what I wore for Coachella. I don't really have anything planned to be completely honest with you guys. So we'll just wing it. Yo, so it is day one. It's actually day one in the intro as well, but it's day one. I'm gonna head to the festival soon. Now me being an absolute idiot means that I didn't check the weather forecast. When you say, Dan, why are you showing me this? Because John's going to move north. The moisture from John. I didn't realize it's gonna be really fucking warm. So currently it is 37 degrees. Yeah, 37 degrees. I decided not to bring a pair of shorts because I'm stupid. So yeah, it's gonna be sick, basically. Having said that though, this place is beautiful. Got a nice little pool. But yeah, this is basically what I'm wearing today. Sick. Absolute sick. So I've got a vintage shirt on top and I've got a pair of running cargos on the bottoms. These are like a greenish color, very beautiful. Got some zippers on the side and on that side and then the beautiful trusted docks on feet. And then last we've got a pair of wheat day sunglasses, a Prada, a bomb bag, belt bag, whatever you want to call it. Coachella done. I don't know if Coachella is my scene. I don't know what to think of it. It's kind of weird, but now I'm in some random supermarket. Maybe get some cheese balls, maybe some ice cream. I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. Deuces. I hate these like YouTube transitions. Sick. Day two. Good morning. Jet lad, jet lad, jet lad. Jet lag hit me like a fucking truck yesterday. I woke up at four o'clock, I woke up at six o'clock, seven o'clock, just woke up and it's like 11 o'clock. Okay. For day two, now a bit of backstory. I went to Coachella with Calvin Klein. Now this video is not sponsored. However, I did go to Calvin Klein, no. I did go to Coachella with Calvin Klein, so they covered stuff like the flight and the hotel. Then I had to do a couple of posts for them. One here, one here. But basically, this outfit was all Calvin Klein. So we've got a pair of these like straight slash baggy Calvin Klein jeans. I love this orange detailing. Very long, so I do always cuff them twice. Give me some big fat cuffs. We have a 
Calvin Klein yellow t-shirt, says super size. Uh, nothing about me is super size, but you know, you gotta put on a show. So, wore this t-shirt, really nice. I love this yellow color together with the stonewashed blue jeans and then tuck it in belt on. Then we have a pair of diesel sunglasses. They're kind of a different take on a Wayfarer. I like this more slightly curved edges. And yeah, they went pretty well. And then lastly, we had a pair of Doc Martin boots. Yellow detailing, yellow t-shirt. Haha, <laughs> sick Magnus. Color combination, mm, nice. And of course, last we had the Prada back. Now, before I went to Coachella, Calvin Klein basically sent me a care package of stuff that I could wear to the festival or before festival, which is in general. They basically sent through loads of denim stuff, which I will be giving away. And I said, this video is not sponsored and I can't stress that enough. It's not sponsored. I'd rather give these pieces to one of you guys than I would just have them in my wardrobe. We've got a simple denim jacket, which has Calvin Klein jeans on the back. This is a size large i will say they fit a tiny bit slim that's why i'm more of like a straight cut guy then we've also got the calvin klein warhol collection i think this jacket is really nice just a bit too slim for my liking also size large and then last we've got the calvin klein and the warhol jeans so on the front you've got some stuff and then on the back you've got some stuff if you do want to win any of this stuff literally just drop a comment like the video tell me what you want of these calvin pieces and your Instagram, and I'll find a couple winners and send it out. Day three. Day three, boy. Didn't make it to uh, Kanye West. I didn't make it to his Sunday service, but it's not that. It's not the end of the world. Today, obviously wearing the Bloom T-shirt, the running stone trousers, and then Converse 70s. Today should be a good day. We're gonna go check out Claro. Playboy Cardi, Ariana Grande, and Khalid. I wanna kill myself. Actually not kill myself, but I'm tired. Jet lag, heat, dust, lack of sleep, good diet. Soon. When it's warm during the day, I wear a t-shirt, and then when it got colder during the night, I was wearing the Bloom hoodie. I don't know if you know, but I didn't know. It's in the desert, it's really hot during the day, and then it's really cold during the night, so it's nice to have a t-shirt and then a hoodie, so it's sick. Then I had a pair of retro super future sunglasses, these bad boys. Again, a slightly different take on a black sunglass. These have like a red tint. So I had the very wide ones on the first day, slightly rounder, and these are like round sunglasses on day three. Let's get into this bloom drop, boy. So in 2017, pretty much two years ago, almost to the date, I released Bloom, and Bloom was probably my favorite collection we've done in terms of like the graphics, in terms of the design, especially the Lily t-shirt is one of my favorites, and I've been wearing this pretty much religiously over the last two years. But a lot of you guys asked for it, and a lot of you guys wanted a Bloom restock. Now instead of me just making a restock on like blank t-shirt like last time, we basically taken the same designs and tweaked them slightly, and then we made them in Portugal on our new running t-shirts, and then we also made hoodies because I fucking love our hoodies I can say that with the bottom of my heart and I always wanted a lily or a rose hoodie that's why we're doing hoodies now the only slight difference is that now the rose comes on this more stone color instead of a white white hoodies are kind of a tricky thing to wear and they get dirty super easily we've got a stone hoodie and also the stone version on the rose t-shirt basically so yeah I'm really excited I know a lot of you guys have asked for it it's probably one of the things I've been asked to do 
the most. So I wouldn't call this a restock, it's more like a re-release, but making it better quality, slightly different fit, just making it better, you know? For me, the Lily hoodie, I'll literally wear that every day of the week. Similar to the Calvin Klein stuff, if you do not win any of this, we are giving away a couple, so all you gotta do is like this video, comment anything Bloom and your Instagram, and then I will contact two or three of you guys and I'll send out some stuff before we drop on Sunday, the 28th of April at 8 p.m. GMT. Now, I don't know if it is going to sell out or not, but if it does, then we will probably open a pre-order. It's always hard when you do like cotton sale stuff to kind of calculate numbers and units. So maybe we've made too many, maybe we haven't made enough. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned on the running.co.uk Instagram and on my personal Instagram at Magnus. My overall thoughts of Coachella was not that good. Also, a lot of people just fucking took pictures all the time, Instagram videos, you fucking name it, which is fair enough. I did the same thing for a couple of fit pics, but it was like excessive, like excessive. Also, at Coachella, you're not allowed to drink on a festival venue. You have like small enclosures. So no one's drunk, it's fucking warm, there's dust everywhere, and yeah, that's what I want to Coachella. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace! That was weirdly energetic. Bah!